Hello and thanks for watching another episode of ARFCOM News, your source for the finest 2A propaganda brought to you by TNVC.com. Today I want to tell you about how to help the Arizona dad stuck in a Mexico prison after forgetting a gun in his car, Ohio's chance to join the civilized world, the Baltimore cop indicted for accepting bribes for gun permit training, a new best millimeter blaster from Springfield, and and PSA's poopy pants AR lower. When Ira Beavers drove his family to Mexico for vacation, he forgot about the Glock he keeps in his vehicle. At the Lukeville checkpoint, the Mexican Border Patrol found the gun and handcuffed Ira and his wife in front of their children. The kids were released to family friends who were vacationing along with them, but Ira and his wife were questioned for two days before Ira's wife was released. Ira stayed in jail, and the Mexican attorney chosen by the State Department was unable to get him released. Ira was sentenced to almost three years in prison. Now the family is trying to raise money to hire a more competent attorney for Ira's appeal, and we'll include a link to the GoFundMe down there in the doobly-doo. If you like seeing stuff more than not seeing stuff, take a look at our sponsor, TNBC.com, your source for quality night vision gear to make you the bump in the night. There are currently 21 states which recognize the fundamental human right to be armed without genuflecting before the throne of the almighty state for a permission slip, and the Buckeye State is poised to become the 22nd. House Bill 227 passed out of the House Government Oversight Committee. If it becomes law, House Bill 227 would make it legal for anyone over the age of 21 to carry a gun concealed without a permission slip so long as they aren't already prohibited from possessing a firearm. It also removes the legal requirement to inform police officers you are armed unless asked, which can cause some awkward situations, and it expands the state preemption laws. The typical Karens whined typically about blood in the streets, but their hysterical predictions haven't come to pass in any of the 21 other states, so there's no reason to expect Ohio will suffer a rash of high noon shootouts. If you believe the right to carry arms is a fundamental human right and it is unjust for the state to infringe on that right in any way, you should call 800-282-0253 right now, regardless of whether or not you live in Ohio. If you give them a zip code located in the state of Ohio, the helpful folks at the legislature will be able to connect you with one of their fine barrel-aged politicritters. Tell them carrying arms is a fundamental human right. Tell them the chicken little predictions of the authoritarian control freaks have been proven false in more than 20 other states. Tell them if they vote against House Bill 227, you will campaign for the opposition in their next primary. Then hang up and call as many times as you have the stomach for. Just in case you weren't already convinced how stupid discretionary permitting schemes are, I've got yet another example of a cop getting caught taking bribes to help people get a permit. Bill Johnson, who worked for the Baltimore police for 13 years, has been indicted in federal court on six counts. The federal prosecutor says Johnson accepted and solicited bribes ranging from $100 to $200 in exchange for falsely certifying completion of state-mandated training for the permits which are required to purchase or to carry a handgun in Maryland. See, anytime you give authority to the state to pick and choose who is allowed to engage in an activity, you invite corruption and you ensure that only the poors are actually subject to those restrictions. The wealthy and connected often get away with whatever they please, but by creating a system like this, you guarantee that they're going to be able to bribe and cajole their way around the laws which govern the rest of us. Now, I don't blame Johnson. I blame the politicians who gave him the power to be corrupt. Goodness free news! If you're a red-blooded American like me, you're a fan of best millimeter. And if you're not a fan of 10 millimeter, well... I have doubts about whether you're even American. 
Springfield Armory released their XD in best millimeter years ago, but now it's available in compact optics ready flavor. The XDM Elite Compact OSP has a 3.8 inch barrel, 11 round magazine, ambidextrous controls, and a removable mag well so you can comfortably fit all your booger hooks around it when using the 15 round mags for its big brother. MSRP is 633. You can depend on Palmetto State Armory to roll out a new lower design based on practically anything that gets the internet's attention. So of course, they have a lower honoring President Booby Pants. The standard PSA multi-cal stripped lower is engraved POTUS Shattus with the model number Vata Pants 15 and the selector markings are C to Pope, C to Poop, and D ends. Cost is 60 bucks. Well, friends, that's all I have for you today. But before I go, I just want to take the time to remind you to please check and see whether you're still subscribed to our channel. Our robot overlords in the tube of yous know what we want better than we could possibly know for ourselves. So they just go ahead and unsubscribe viewers from any channels which happen to express wrong thing like this one. And you folks out there in TV land know censorship makes puppies cry, and Captain America is very disappointed. So, don't forget to check every now and then just to make sure you're still subscribed to us. While you're at it, be sure you ring that notification bell so you never miss a word of our gun rights propaganda. And if you want to get email alerts for the best deals, projects we're working on, and the <laughs> hottest stuff you missed on the ARFCOM forums, you'll also find a link tree link down there in the doobly-doo for our newsletter. And remember, if you want to help us keep bringing you banger content like this, please support the folks who support us. Not only does TNVC.com give you night vision with that cool, refreshing, never bitter taste that goes down smooth, they also have mounts, lights, swag, and all sorts of other gear to make you the bump in the night. I love you.